Now that means each diaper takes about 500 years. Yeah, I mean, it's strange. I mean, when the numbers I saw, I was like, wow. And we're so unaware about this. So each child contributes to about 900 kg of landfill. Okay, so with me today is Rakul Preet Singh, the actor and entrepreneur. And uh, as you can see, her background is uh, much more fancy and better than mine. <laughs> but uh, what we are talking about today is uh, New Boo, which is a very interesting sounding name. She is the co-founder of New Boo, so I'm going to give it over to her. What exactly is this Rakul Preet? So you can call me Rakul. And thanks, okay. Kabir. Uh, yes, uh, thanks. Uh, so New Boo is, as the name suggests, it's newborn. Um, and Nubu are reusable diapers, reusable and biodegradable diapers. Uh, now, it's really funny, like when this whole idea came to me, uh, there are two girls who were working on it. And when they when they brought it to me, I really resonated with it, even though I'm not a mother, I don't have too many kids around, like, you know, even with my friends. But uh, I believe like I'm a, a citizen of this planet. And that's how it resonated with me. Um, so I learned that each baby requires about five to 6,000 diapers in the two to three years of the diaper using age. Uh, and these diapers are non-biodegradable. Now that means each diaper takes about 500 years. Yeah, I mean, it's strange. I mean, when the numbers I saw, I was like, wow. And we're so unaware about this. So each child contributes to about 900 kg of landfill. That is non-biodegradable. You know, that's the number. And uh, with new boo, you require only 15. So we've made them reusable uh, using cotton and bamboo and everything that's rash free and, you know, plastic free and good for the child and good for the planet. Uh, and of course, then you save the cost as well, because every parent for an average kid would, you know, the average cost that you save is about 50, 60,000 uh, rupees on your diapering costs. So uh, that was a good, uh, you know, yeah. So that that really resonated with me. And I was like, wow, nobody talks about these things. And it's okay, you know, I mean, we're talking about sustainability today. We're talking about this is this being the need of the hour. Uh, we don't have safe water. There's global warming. And then we have so much use of plastic. And there's so many kids being born every day, so many. Uh, and that's how my association with the brand started. And I decided to, uh, you know, be a co-founder in it. We launched back in March and we've got a great response this, this March, actually. And we've got a great response um, so far. And uh, yeah, that's all about you, Boo. 5,000 diapers. Okay. No, yeah. Not gonna so which means, you know, if you do the math, Kabir, that each diaper takes about 500 years to decompose. That means wherever the first diaper was made, it's still lying somewhere on this planet. I mean, if you do the math. And 500 years. 500 years to decompose. Well, you never know. I mean, some uh, some of these uh, celebrity diapers might become collectibles in the future. That, of course, on a different note. <laughs> How do... Uh, I actually, you already answered my next question. How do non-biodegradable uh, products harm the environment for somebody who's, you know, getting used to this term for the, for the first time? See, like I said, and I used very basic terms. Now, if we talk about you want to have a child, but you don't want to give that child a safe world to live in. We're talking about a time where in 2050, if this is how it continues, we won't have clean drinking water. And everything is correlated. So why have children then? I mean, if we cannot give them a planet to have a healthy living, yeah. um, you know, and that's where uh, that's where my support for New Boo came in. And um, like I said, that anyone who's absolutely new to this term of sustainability or biodegradable, you got to tell them everybody's aware of global warming today. And uh, especially in the cities, you'll be surprised that it's only seven to eight percent of the population that uses diapers. Rest are still using cloth at home because it's not affordable. And even then it comes to so much of waste that we are creating because we are obviously a very highly populous country. So, you know, if you just tell them that one, it's good for your child, which it is, there's no rash, they're toxic free, there are no plastic. So there's something known as SMA or something. Uh, that's a, a polymer of plastic that is put for high absorbency in these uh, non-degradable uh, diapers. 
which is not good for the child, which is what uh, causes the rashes and the irritation. And, and we use bamboo and cotton and everything that's degradable. Um, so yeah, that's, 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 I think for any parent, it's easy to understand when it's good for the child uh, and as a consumer, good for the planet. Somebody hearing the term carbon footprint for the first time, how would how would I explain it to them? To them. Wow, that's a tough task. Uh, it's going to be tough to explain when, if someone who's hearing carbon footprint for the first time, that means that person's absolutely unaware of the sustainability practices or what it is to be righteous, what is planet, what is right, good for the planet. So I think I'll basically start with the definition of explaining how uh, you know the the harmful gases are released from anything that's not sustainable, uh, like hmm. carbon dioxide and methane, and how it comes into play into global warming, into pollution, which is air pollution. We're breathing that. We have less oxygen. I mean, you've got to, got to go to the basics to explain it to them, but that's going to be right. a tough time. Yeah. Okay. So obviously, obviously, it's going to take a long time. Is is what you're trying to say? It, it's a yeah. But I think it's in an thing, easier way. Time. I think in an easier way, Kabir, to tell anyone about any sustainable practice is to really speak about you know when our grandfathers and grandparents lived, the food they consumed, the nutrition level of the food. The same wheat today is highly made of gluten, and is GMO, right? I mean, that's how you explain. So from the food to the water to, um, uh, I mean, acid rain today. I mean, there's just so many things, the global warming, the summers are getting hotter and the winters are getting cooler. Uh, and in places like Mumbai, which were not very cold in the winters. And, and, and I think you need to explain with examples and how it can really be harmful for the future generations because the planet's not gonna sustain if we don't, you know, pull our act together. Uh, right. And I think more than the definition, it's going to have to be the the examples of what could go wrong. I mean, I was recently at IFA and there was a, this whole water conservation sustainability conversation going on there. And I learned that we won't have drinking water, like I was telling you, by 2050. That means any child that's born today in a middle age time, I mean, by the time they're like 25, they'll be yeah. struggling unless we really, really do something about it. Um, you know, the demand is more, the supply is getting uh, worse. So I just feel that it's now or never. Yeah, in fact, uh, interesting you mentioned that because I saw this very interesting uh, movie back in 2020, 2021, which released on OTT. Jackie Bagnani was part of it. I think it was called Carbon. I'm forgetting it also. At yes. Yes, it was very, called very well made, very interesting sort of a you know, sort of our version of Black Mirror, what's going to really happen in the future in India yeah. with water and oxygen going out of control. That's actually a good movie for people to see, to understand the gravity really uh, yeah. of the situation. Uh, since we have web series and movies, what exactly, what are the uh, upcoming projects, whether it's uh, movies or series? What about it? I think there's one, there's one something, there's some uh, one fantasy movie which you're part of and there's another one. So about, there's a, uh... There, there's one film in Hindi, which is your commercial masala film, which, yes. So there's one film in Hindi, which uh, I just had a release called I Love You. And now there's yeah. another one, which is uh, going to come out maybe end of the year, which is your commercial Najkana, very quintessential Hindi film. And right. uh, there is a film called Ayalan, which is fantasy, which is the one you're talking about, which is a yeah. Tamil film, uh, of course, fantasy. India, I guess. And then there's Indian 2, which is uh, directed by Shankar Sir, which will also release next year, early next year. Uh, these are the films which will release. So Indian Indian 2 is the sequel to the Indian which released in 1995 or something with Kamal Hassan. So Kamal Hassan is going to be part of this project. Yes, yes, yes. And he's older now. And? And he's older. Than and he's older. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so yes. it's a continuation. It's a sequel for that. Okay, so it's uh, related to the first movie. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Rakul, for talking to us. The Wi Fi has definitely spoiled sport, but uh, still quite an informative session. I mean, uh, uh, it is uh, actually a responsibility right now for anybody who's uh, planning to get uh, children into this world at 30 years later, what exactly uh, might be. And hence, I think these uh, products, which are 
into sustainability and thinking about the environment and the future are actually uh, walking the talk, so to say, instead of just, you know, yes. uh, uh, getting views on TEDx speeches, this is actually something which is uh, getting stuff done. Thank you so much. For Thank talking. you so much. And, uh, Thank you.